I'm Nick. Welcome to Get Out and Wrench. Today's finally the day. This 1991 Camaro is going back on the road. I just got to put some coolant in it, hook the ECM up, put the wheels on, get her on the ground, and I'm going to pull it out of the garage and I'll show you that. So let's get to work because I'm really excited. Okay, so I got coolant in it, plug the ECM back in, put the wheels on. I haven't put it on the ground yet. I'm going to do a first start. I haven't started this car in like a year and a half since I pulled it in here. So I just want to make sure that it's going to run and I don't have to like do any other stuff like, I don't know. But I'm going to hook the battery up, make sure I don't have anything shorted out. So, you know, you look around for smoke smell for burning things and such and then <clears throat> I'll hit the key and hopefully she fires up what I do with my wrench just add a wrench <clears throat> they're not 8 millimeters I don't I don't see any smoke. That's good so far. They're 5 sixteenths, but for some reason the 8 doesn't work. I guess the 5 sixteenths ratchet inside doesn't work either. I need to get some new, new posts for these. Alright, so I'm going to bring you in here so you can see it better. And watch it fire up. And let me know if anything catches on fire. Alright, we're going to start this thing up, 
Uh, I forgot to hit the record the last time, so let's try this again. Fight right up, which is good. Um, it's the benefit of having fuel injection. Basically, you don't have to get in the car and pump it, pump the carburetor or nothing. It just sprays the fuel in for you, and you're good to go. Uh, the engine sounds healthy, which I didn't expect it not to. Uh, it's firing on all eight, so I'll get her put back down on the ground. I got some stuff to clean up out of the way. So I got. The Corvette engine there, that 355, my welder is over here. So, and then all the, you know, parts that I cut off the car and whatnot. I'm going to get all this stuff cleared out of the way, put the car back down on the ground, and I'll be back with you shortly. All right. I'm going to drive that car out of the garage for the first time in over a year and a half. So, I'm really excited about this. Let's get it out of there. the garage finally I can't believe it it's been a long time I'm really excited to get that get back to driving this car so we're gonna go drive it around a little bit and see how she does okay we're gonna go for our first drive <clears throat> I had a little issue with the fan it was getting stuck so I had to adjust the fan bracket a little bit but I got that working. Uh, coolant's all good. So I'm gonna go drive it around the block and we'll see, see how it goes. But it's been sitting for probably like three hours now since I had to run it earlier. So it should fire right up though. And we'll go cruise around the block. looking good, the oil pressure is good, battery voltage is good, my tack doesn't work but I don't need that.
gets up and goes for a little 305. I'm happy with that. That's good. I just went and drove around the block. Car ran good. Uh, it seems like it's just back to its old self. I'm not even disappointed about anything of how it drove. It seemed like the steering was good. So I'm super stoked about that. All right, we're back from our test drive and it went well. Good job. Trans shifts good, doesn't pull, which I'm really surprised about because I thought that I had a bent tie rod, but I guess I don't. So, doesn't pull, gets up and goes how it should, uh, feels like it's back to how it's supposed to be. That's going to do it for this part of this project. I have an exhaust to put on, you probably saw it in the background of a couple of videos, and I have new front brakes for it. Um, I'm probably going to end up ordering tie rods and stuff also just because it'll give me a peace of mind that I can actually do an alignment on this thing and get it get it really good so but yeah let me know uh, down in the comments if you like this if you don't like it tips pointers tell me stuff you're working on uh, let me see this has been a really fun project for me uh, even though it started out as kind of a nightmare and I happy that I got it done and I got I did it all in my garage I mean you, you saw me climbing over stuff and just I'm gonna drive this around some more in the meantime I'm Nick get out and wrench